Fifty years ago, Marilyn Monroe was the reigning queen of Hollywood, and to this day she is considered one of the greatest female stars of all time. But back in December of 1961, an unexpected meeting between Monroe and the accomplished photographer Len Steckler led to some remarkable photographs that are just now being revealed for the first time. Len Steckler, good morning to good you. Good morning, Meredith. This is an amazing story. Take us back Thank to you. December 1961. You're visited by your good friend, the poet Carl Sandburg. We're sitting in, in, my, in my place, and Carl, we're, we were talking, and Carl casually says to me, Len, I'm expecting somebody over in a little while. And I keep talking, it was like him. Doesn't say anything about Not, who nothing, it is, right? Nothing. Four hours later, the doorbell rings, I go to the door, I open the door, I'm face to face with Marilyn Monroe. And she looked, she really looked gorgeous. She says to me immediately, uh, I'm sorry I'm late, but I was having my hair done to match Carl's. <laughs> oh, That's amazing. So she, she's in the back, Carl is inside. She sees Carl and she runs toward him, not, and embraces him, and they, they kiss and they start to talk and they're talking and involved. I'm watching this, I grab my Nikon. You know there's a moment here that needs to be captured. Well, it's, it's like an instinct. <laughs> and I've done it all my life. So uh, I, I grab it and I start to move toward them gently, with a, like a cat, you're like a mouse and a cat. And I'm going and I'm closer and I'm starting to shoot and I'm noticing that they don't even know that I'm there. They're so they're engrossed They're oblivious to the camera. But that, uh, I, I was feeling amazed, and I, I put my camera, I focused on, on Marilyn's face, and she was wearing sunglasses, but I saw her eyes, and I focused on her eyes, and they were there wasn't a bad angle on her, literally. I've done a, a lot of beautiful women, but... And then I, I panned down, and there was Carl's gnarled hand, his old hand, in her hand, and I thought to myself, Carl was 83, and Marilyn was 35. Right. That's pretty. And it's I, pretty I, good, I, actually. <laughs> <laughs> now, yes. you you say yeah. that they, there was a little bit of flirtation between the two of them. Did you suspect well, something was going well, on, or? Well, I can't make that. Uh, she, I think she she liked older men. I think she was very yeah. vulnerable, and she and she liked older men. And as such, Carl was really fit that bill because he was very parental. I would say more of that than. Uh, than the other. And you sort of squirrel these, these photographs away. The, 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 you never really thought about them, right? Your son discovered them. Uh, very true. Very true. Uh, actually, all of that, I went, I went back. My, my, my assistant brought me the contacts, and I looked at the contacts. I said, they're beautiful. I said, uh, file them away as, as uh, the visit, which I called it. And but here's a point, Mar Ed, Mar uh, Marilyn Monroe, as I remember, died eight months later. That's exactly right. And I thought to myself at that moment uh, how uh, empathetic I felt uh, photographing those two icons when they were in their moment and I was there with my camera. And I, and I went on doing what I was doing, and you, as you do, I had all my assignments and things that I did. And I put Joe Namath in pantyhose, and I, <laughs> I did all of that, you know. And then that's 50 years later. 50 years later, which was about three months ago, uh, I was having my work appraised, and uh, my son Morgan was there, you know, leaping through my, my, my files. And he, he picked out an envelope, said, yep. and uh, it, said, it said the visit on it. He looked at him and he said, Dad, these are wonderful. Well, I'm glad he. I'm glad he came upon them because if now the public will get a chance to purchase oh. them, Len, they're fantastic. Thank, thank you. you so much for joining us oh, this thank morning. You, thank you very much. And for sharing them with the rest thank of the you, world. Mother.